Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 13th of September 2024. First chart is the US Dollar Index Futures. This is the wider view, so you can see that it has been trading sideways for quite some time. If we move in a little bit, look at some of the detail, and you can see the market is finding support down at this level. There was a minor overshoot down here, down to the last gasp levels. There was a response higher, and then last week we saw some buying support come in. This week, it looks a bit like absorption, but the market is trading sideways in here at the moment. There's no serious attempt to push higher, and the market still has not moved up to this level, which you would actually like to see to actually suggest there is some strength in the market. The market's holding on. It's not looking as weak as it did, but it's still not looking strong. So perhaps sideways is the most likely response in the near term. This is the E-mini S&P, S&P 500 index futures. And the market did pull back more recently. It did not reach this logical level, only slightly, but it didn't quite get there, which is a minor sign of strength. This week, the market's attempted to reverse. It's not a complete reversal. The market has not closed above the previous bar's high or these highs of the range here. But there has been some buying support emerge in the market and the volume suggests it was quite strong. This is the highest up volume we've seen for quite some time. All these three bars here had low volumes. There was no real impetus to push the market higher. And these bars back here all had low volumes. This is the highest up volume we've seen for quite some time. So that might suggest that some strength or some increased demand has moved into the market. Now, if trading conditions are favorable next week, I expect an attempt to move higher. But if the market needs some time to digest what's happened this week, you may find the market instead tests for supply or at least spend some time early in the week testing for supply and absorbing any supply that's drawn out before there's any serious attempt to move higher. This is a much improved indication this week that there is some buying support emerging in the market. US Treasury 10-year note futures. We saw some reluctance to move lower down here and then a push higher in response. And the market just moved sideways absorbed any supply that's drawn out, broke out a second time, and that process continued for quite some time. We're right up here now. You can see the period of consolidation in response. The market's then broken out again. This week, it's really only just floated higher on relatively low volumes, not really low, but just a little bit below average, and the market's floated higher, mostly on a lack of selling pressure than any huge amount of demand. But that's still okay, the market's not weak. It's still continuing higher. You've got some good buying support behind you back here, this consolidation, and the market floated higher this week on a lack of selling pressure. Copper price futures are beginning to consolidate sideways. We saw in the background the market almost break down here and attempt to recover, but eventually fail. The market then moved down. There was a reluctance to move lower here in this part of the trading. And we've seen the market move sideways since in what effectively is some accumulation sideways here, building up some strength for a potential move higher in the future. This is sort of what we expected would have happened. Up here, we were looking for the market to come back down to the lows of the range. That's what happened last week. Some buying supports emerged this week. The market's trading sideways, building up some strength for a potential move higher in the future. Gold price futures. Gold price futures are one of the stronger charts at the moment. We noted up here the consolidation 
and then an attempt to push higher. The market eventually broke out here after an attempt to break out, a test for supply, then the breakout bar. We've had three weeks of sideways trading and then a secondary breakout up here, which is a good move. It's good and logical. It makes sense. You'll probably find that once this momentum on this bar eases, whether there's a little bit more early next week, you'll find the market will do something similar to what happened here, up here. So I would expect the market, once this momentum begins to ease a little bit, will then move into absorption mode and you'll get some absorption sort of like this over the next little bit as the market absorbs any supply that's drawn out in response to the push higher. There's almost always some supply drawn out when the market pushes higher, especially on the initial up bar. You're going to have people taking profits. You're going to have any supply drawn out from the left, although there is nothing to the left here at the moment. And you're going to have people who think the market's gone a bit too far and they're going to short it and hopefully bring it back to this level, say. So you get supply drawn out. What the market does in response, it's moved sideways and absorbs that supply or at least attempts to. And if it's a strong market, it'll absorb that supply, it'll consolidate, and then there'll be another leg higher. Silver price futures were dragged up strongly by the strength in the gold market this week. We saw some breakdown here and then some consolidation, an attempt to push back above, a retest of the lows, and this week the market's moved higher and closed above this recent high here. We've got the highs of the range coming through here. So the market's got some room to move up to the highs of the range up here. So pretty good strong move this week. It'll follow the gold market to a reasonable extent. And usually it's a little more volatile than the gold market. So you can see the market really stretched higher this week. It's got some more room to move. There may be an initial test for supply early. And then I would expect an attempt to push higher again if the gold market remains strong. Light crude price futures appeared to have broken down last week. Here, some buying support has emerged. The, the market rejected moving lower here. And saw some buying support emerge. There was no serious attempt to push higher. And you can see that when the market moved up here, some supply was drawn out and the price closed back off its high. So you may find the market just moves sideways, sort of in this range here, and attempts to build up a little bit of strength. Although this market has been a little difficult to read more recently, so anything is possible. But I would suggest in a normal market, this market will probably move sideways here and attempt to build up some strength prior to any serious attempt to push higher. So we'll see what we get. Euro, US dollar currency futures. Here is the recent highs. There was a strong push higher in response. And the market's attempting to consolidate now, right up high in the range, perhaps not as high as it may have done. If the range is effectively from here to here, like this, then the market is consolidating fairly high up in the range here. So it's not too bad. This week was a test for supply. Market did trade below the previous bar, rejected moving lower and push higher in response. There was no real serious attempt to push higher. This was like an absorption bar. Volume was contract rollover, so you can ignore that to some extent. It was probably about average volume, I would expect. This was an absorption bar, and the market's doing a reasonable job of absorbing supply up high in the range. It's relatively strong. British pound currency futures. Highs of the range came through here. There was some absorption taking place here. 
before the market really broke out. We came back, tested the breakout, then pushed higher in response, and the market's consolidating much higher than the euro. Very similar, though. The market tested for supply this week. It moved below the previous bar's low, and it rejected moving lower. Buying support came in, and the market's consolidating and absorbing supply sideways. So it's a relatively strong sign, and it's right up high in the range, so it's quite good. Japanese yen currency futures. We saw back here the market was moving lower. There was some reluctance to move lower down here, but it was a little dubious at the time. We saw the minor buying support come in and the strong response, and since then the market's really accelerated higher. We saw supply drawn out here. That was tested for supply, and supply was found not to be ongoing. The market pushed higher in response, and you've seen the market then break out from there since. Each time, testing for supply before buying support comes in, testing for supply again, buying support comes in. This has been a good, strong move. The market's now right up at these levels, which is the previous highs of the range. So you may find some more work needs to be done at this level in here. But this has been a good, strong move so far. The thrust high was a little bit reduced this week, so you may find some work needs to be done sort of at these previous highs in here, about that level. But pretty good move. Aussie dollar currency futures. Aussie dollar currency futures have traded right up near their highs up here and then pulled back more recently. Similar to the euro and the British pound, the market traded below the previous bars low this week, rejected moving lower, and then buying support came in and it closed as a pretty good up bar actually in the end. So the market has recovered back above 67. And I feel as though the market's going to attempt to consolidate sort of in this 67, 68 region at the moment. 66 will still be support below if required, but the market looks like it's going to try and hold in this 67 to 68 level, which is up slightly from where it was. Bitcoin futures have been moving sideways for an extended period of time. Been a little disappointing more recently. Back here, we had some absorption to move through some previous supply to the left. The market did move pretty quickly up to these levels. Here was the original lows of the range. They were exceeded here. New lows were built down here. The market's been consolidating sideways. This week saw an incomplete reversal, but buying support has emerged, although the volume suggests it wasn't particularly strong, but then again, supply wasn't strong either. So these two bars together represent absorption. The market's moved lower, it's rejected moving lower and below the lows of the range, and then there's been some recovery involved here. So you would either see the market move sideways and continue absorbing supply, or there'll be an attempt to move higher. If there is an attempt to move higher, it'll probably be only be up to this level here, at least initially, because there's likely to be some supply there. So if the market just moves into this range here and spends some time absorbing supply here, it doesn't have to race ahead like it sometimes does. Much better just to move into a level like this and then spend some time absorbing supply at this level before there's a serious attempt to break out above it and up to the next level, which is up here. So that was a bit more constructive for the Bitcoin market over the last two weeks, rather than trying to race ahead like it does sometimes. Let's see what the response is next week. Back to the US dollar index futures just quickly. Here's where the market's finding some support at the moment. It is holding on and doing okay. It's not looking as weak as it was, but it's not looking particularly strong either. This is where you'd like to see the market trading 
if it was a bit stronger, but it's not. It hasn't been able to reach these levels. Until it can show some strength and do so, it's a little weaker than it is stronger. But it remains holding on sideways at the moment, and that's where the market may just continue trading for a period around this 101 level and above 100.5. Okay, thanks for your time. See you next week. See ya.